link mechanism. In the link mechanism below, OA revolves about O, while AB slides through the pivoted block C. Draw the locus of point P on the link mechanism for one revolution. And we are given OA as 25, AB as 140, and PB as 40 mm. This is OA, which is the radius of the circle. That means the circle will be 50 mm diameter. Now, with radius 25, you'll be able to draw out the circle. AB is the road or the link and is given as 140 mm. Then we are to plot the locus of point P. This is point P on the road for one revolution. That means at every point on the circle, we are to plot the locus of point P. Now we're given the distance of PB to be 40 mm. So we are to calculate the distance of AP. How do we get AP? From the road, we have AB, which equals 140. So we subtract PB, which is 40, from the total sum of 140 to get the distance of AP. So from AB, remove PB, then you have 100 mm from point A to point P. Now, at every point of point P, you find the locus. So the first thing you are going to do, you draw your circle using the given radius, which is radius 25 mm. Draw your circle and divide into eight equal parts. Then number the circle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When you are done with that, you place your ruler at division eight and bring out the rod. The rod is positioned at 15 mm from the center line. From the center line, you locate a distance of 15 mm. And from the center line to the center line of the circle, you also locate a distance of 90 mm. So the point of intersection between the 90 mm and the 15 mm is where you are to fix the pivot. Measure 15 mm from the horizontal line downward and also measure 90 mm from the vertical line forward. Then the point where they intersect, you fix the pivot. After you have fixed the pivot from division eight, which is the starting point from the question, draw your rod with a length of 140 mm. After you have measured 140 mm at point 100 mm, dot it and put P is. Then move on to the next one, which is division seven. So at division seven, you place your ruler and measure 140 the same way, then dot 100 mm and put P seven because we are to look, look uh, draw the locus of point P. From seven, you come to division six. From seven, you move to division six. At division six, you also measure on 140, which is the length of the road. Then you dot point 100, which is the low cost we are looking for. Repeat the same process at division five. Place your ruler this way. Measure the length of the road, 140. And at 100, you put P5. You go to division four. At division four, place your ruler to pass through the pivot. All the points are going through the pivot. So measure 140 and dot your point 100. Dot point 100. Then you go to division three. At division three, place your ruler this way. Draw your rod and make sure the rod pass through the pivot point. So at point 100, you dot P3. From there, we'll move on to division one. So all the points must slide through. They must go through the pivot at C. So at division two, place your ruler and measure 
140 mm then at 100 you also mark it and put p2 we move on to division one place your ruler at division one let it pass through the same pivot and at 100 you put p1 when you are done join from p1 to p2 to p3 p4 p5 p6 p7 and p8 from p1 which is at the pivot take it to p2 connect it to p3 p4 p5 to p6 p7 and to p8 at the end of the day you have a shape like this